Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. So, uh, like in this uh, video, uh, we will uh, learn how to save each and every worksheets as a separate PDF file. So, suppose if you are working with uh, data for different years, division of products, or maybe for different teams, and you may have the need to save a different worksheet as a PDF file. See, in that case, if you will start uh, doing that activity manually, then that will be a lot of time taking job, right? Time consuming process. And in this, uh, you know, uh, in this type of task, we can uh, provide a lot of help to you and it can save a lot of time. So, uh, like, let's uh, let's move to Excel window and write the Visual Basic application code uh, to save each and every file in a PDF format to a specific, you know, designated, basically designated location. So here, in the, you can see that. Uh, uh, we have a uh, workbook like you know and there are seven team members basically uh, one team one team two and team three up to team seven so here all the details like the employee id employee name and department so these are the fictitious details you know so that uh, we can save each and every file in a pdf format uh, okay so we will be utilizing this particular all the worksheets and save these uh, uh, worksheets in uh, to a uh, different individual PDF file. So let's uh, move to Visual Basic application code. So uh, to do that, you just need to click on Developer tab and then click on Visual Basic application, like Visual Basic. Or alternatively, you can uh, press Alt plus F11. You know. So let's click on Visual Basic. And once you will click on Visual Basic, uh, you will directly jump to uh, Microsoft Visual Basic for application window. So this is the window where we will start writing the code. So to do that, let's uh, just uh, go to Insert uh, menu. Once you click on insert module, uh, you just need to select the module, right? And uh, this is the module, and this is the module like which has been inserted by VBA. So let it be the module one. There is no need to change the name, right? And this is the code container, right? So we need to write the code for that. So to do that, let's start uh, writing the code. So just keep the uh, sub, and the subroutine name uh, would be uh, save work sheet as pdf right and then open bracket and close bracket and then press enter so once you'll press enter uh, like your visual basic application will automatically insert the end sub statement here right and we need to write the code uh, within this like uh, in this uh, block like sub and end sub block okay let's declare a variable uh, called a ws as a worksheet so start writing dim W S as W O work sheet. Okay, so this is the variable which uh, will uh, uh, we will utilize this va uh, variable uh, in moving from one uh, worksheet to another worksheet and printing that worksheet uh, uh, simultaneously, like uh, one by one, basically. You know? So uh, let's uh, use utilize the for each looping structure so for each new W S in W worksheet. Worksheets is basically a collection of worksheets. That's why we are referring worksheets, right? And the next will be WS. So next worksheet. So it will uh, no, move from each and every worksheets and uh, the, uh, like from uh, beginning uh, from first worksheet to last worksheet, right? And now here we need to uh, give the statement like Visual Basic statement over there so that each and every worksheet uh, will uh, like uh, will get saved and designated folder in the PDF format. So right, so we uh, will utilize ws dot you know export to exports as you know fixed file format and the format would be Excel type PDF. Okay, you can see that and uh, the we need to pass uh, you know the path over there. We we need to uh, uh, save this file. So let's uh, move to our folder basically here and he, you can see that we need to uh, you know save the file pdf file over here so just select all those like the path and again come to a coding window and just paste it in inverted comma okay now we need to concatenate uh, with the ampersand and then we need to give the name as you know so what we need to do we uh, will utilize uh, the uh, the worksheet name as a file name so ws dot name right Okay, and then ampersand again. Let's uh, let's scroll this. Uh, 
make it smaller so that entire code would be available in a single screen and then uh, the extension would be dot pdf okay and then close like close inverted comma so this is all about the codes uh, which will do it's a one line code okay and it will start uh, saving all those you know all the available worksheets in the format of pdf at designated folder that designated path that is in this path okay so let's uh, click on debug and check whether uh, the code which uh, we have written has any error or not so this compile video project and you can see that uh, it's successfully compiled there is no error right so to utilize this code uh, we have two options like uh, let's uh, make it smaller like, like make it smaller size you know and let's uh, click on excel you know and then yeah so we have two ways so either uh, like while uh, keeping your cursor in this particular subroutine just click on you know this command uh, this uh, this button run button or press f5 or you can directly create in a, a command button on this particular worksheet and uh, worksheet or in this workbook and uh, assign uh, the macro that is save worksheet has pdf on that particular command button and once you will click on that button each and every worksheet will get printed uh, in pdf format right so there are the two way let's uh, to save our time let's uh, consume uh, this particular uh, like the options like uh, turn so this one so let's click on this while uh, keeping your cursor in this particular uh, subroutine uh, just click on run okay so now you can see that it's a processing it's a printing uh, no? so let's move to the folder and now you can see that all the files has been printed in the form of pdf let's open each and every file one by one so now you can see that uh, uh, all the details available in uh, you know, uh, uh, team one worksheet has been printed uh, no? has been saved in the pdf format in the file first file so in the same way uh, you can see uh, all those worksheets like uh, uh, we have you know, seven different worksheets and we we have seven different pdf files for each and every worksheet so hope this you know uh, this macro code will be useful for you and we will start using this code while converting your excel uh, like worksheets into pdf format with the help of macro thank you for watching please like share subscribe and comment have a great day bye bye